Good morning. Welcome to another spiritual revival hour. Remember, we are about words of inspiration, consolation, and we have to put in education. This is a special program this morning. We have been trying to get the word out that this Sunday we was going to do something special for our good friend, our brother, the late brother George Witcher. So this program is dedicated to him and to his family, his lovely wife and all. Uh, we have been associated with this family for years. We feel that we are part of this family. So we, are just, we have some guests with us today, uh, people who are going to reminisce over George's life. Uh, all of you are familiar with him for the length of time that George was here on Channel 28. George is one of the pioneers of Channel 28. He's one of the, 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 the trailblazers of 28. So we're here today just to sort of reminisce over his life. And we have Brother Jay Carwell. Most of you know him around the city. And uh, he was here with us a few, uh, few weeks ago. And uh, we, we, we did, George was still with us then. Yes. So he's back with us today for us to talk about. We have his daughter here with us today, Renee Witcher. And we're happy to have her. And we have the bishop, the bishop with us today. <laughs> One that George would always call when he go to do oh, something. Thanks. George had his way about about getting us to do things, and, and uh, we we obeyed him because we know he was sincere. And I want I want to place emphasis on that this morning. This was a young man that was sincere about what he was doing, even through his trials and tribulations. He was dedicated and sincere in everything he do. I'm gonna go to Jay now and. And uh, I'm not going to try to take up all the time here because I know everybody we have here have something to say. Jay, I just want you to come right in and just, let's talk well, about our good friend. Thank you, Doc. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm just honored to be here. And of course, I, 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 it's, it's a good, good and bad, you know, the, the passing of my friend. One of my best friends was George yes. Witcher. Yes. And I, I, he told me that he had his business fixed, and if he got out of here, don't worry about him. He'd see me on the other side. So I'm looking forward to a, a family reunion one day. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope it's not no time soon, but I'm not as young as I used to be. George was one of my favorite people, I, and I used, to, I used to remember coming down, of course, to his program. Yeah. Then he, and, and it's just, uh, Pastor Kathy Flood Johnson yes. had a program. Yes. Yes. And I remember one of the things that I remember about that particular program, they had me come down once and they had my homie Bishop Morton on there yes. with us. Yes. And we were we had a we had a time. I think I got it on tape somewhere. But George, I can't say enough about George and his family and and, and how we we all just just got along so well together. And he had a uh, this young lady sitting next to me is one of the best pie makers, sweet potato pie makers in this city. I'll tell you that right now. And every year, she would she would take care of the pies. Something must yeah. be special about those pies. You've been talking about the pies ever since we got you, in Doc, the studio. I'm telling you, you want sweet potato pie, you see Renee with you. She yeah. take care yeah. of you. But I'm honored to be here, and 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 I'm honored that you asked me to come down. I hope there's something I can say uh, uh, that might be. Uh, inspirational. Renee, let's, 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 let's hear something about your dad. My dad, this segment's not long enough for me to sit <laughs> here and talk about my dad. Um, my dad right. was a true man of God. Yes. He loved the Lord. Yes. And he definitely loved his family. You know, you can't put into words the depths of his love for his family, you know, from the youngest to the oldest. Um, when you talk about unconditional love, it's the type of love that you can only, people like me, would dream about. Because, like, the love that he had for his wife it's just unmeasurable. Yes. They took their vows yes. seriously. Yes. 
they tell you know when they say in sickness and in health till death do was part that's exactly what it was because she was right there with him to the very end and now we're all at a loss yes we're at a loss um my dad and I, we were, were NFC East rivals, you know. Everybody knows my dad's an Eagles fan. <laughs> Me, I'm a Jersey girl. I'm a Giants fan. Mm -hmm. So come week 14, when both teams play, I'm not going to be able to pick up that phone call, pick up the phone and call my dad during halftime. <laughs> and just, like, rub it in either way it goes. Um, but... It's difficult, yes. you know, because the day that my dad died um, was my son's 30th birthday. Mm. So how do you celebrate life and death mm. at the same time? Mm. It puts you in a place where nobody can reach you because, you know, I have my dad over here. I have my son over here. Um, and then everybody else, but my dad was an inspiration to all of us. Yes. He was a mentor. Yes. Um, he let you know right from wrong, loved his grands. Everybody knows my dad loved playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> loved playing cards. He knuckle. Yes. Well, he taught my oldest granddaughter, Aaron, how to play trash. And then he got mad because she beat him all the time. <laughs> but, I mean, there's just, there's just not enough time for me. I can just go on and on and on about my dad. You know, from my youngest brother, Rasheen, um, how they took them in. You know, he became a mentor to him. He became proud of him, of the way he changed his life. My brother, Tony, you know, his accomplishments, you know, how he's taking charge, you know. Yeah. He's a single father now, taking care of his kids. My sister, Joanne, and like her musical career and how she's taking off, yeah. she's doing her thing down in Atlanta. My sister, Kizzy, and brother-in-law, Dre, their entrepreneurship. Um, myself because I work with the veterans population, the homeless population. You know, my son, who will now forever have a bond because he passed on his birthday, he was proud of him, of how, you know, he, the father of three. But then when you talk about Carolyn, their love is, it's just, Sometimes it's just like hard to explain because he loved her yes. deeply. Yes. It was deeply rooted that nothing or no one could even shake it. And she stood by him the good times yes. and the bad times. Yes. Yes. You know, 47 years is a long time to be with <laughs> one person. They want to kill him. Yes. Yes. But, <laughs> but she loved that man. And because she loved yes. my dad the yes. way that she yes. loved him, she yes. will forever hold yes. a special place in my heart because yes. she took care of him mm -hmm. like no other. Well, and, and Carolyn was trying to, after she felt that she couldn't go through this. She was invited to come down and uh, had a long conversation. And after she decided she couldn't come, she mm -hmm. was trying to figure out who in the family that she could ask to come because everybody loved George and mm -hmm. he yes. caught a heart for everybody. Yes. So she decided on you, she <laughs> said. <laughs> she said I, I, I could get Renee to come down. Yes. And uh, I see why, because uh, of what you just said. but. Everybody knew George. George was sincere, mm -hmm. dedicated to what he's doing. Whatever, whatever he wanted to do it the best, the best, to do, get the best out of everything. He did. And for those of us who work with him, I work with him, and I just got to the point where when he when he called, I'm, I just get up and go. I don't <laughs> be questioning him at all because I know he's going to continue to call. Yeah. So we we just happy to be able to all of us to be able to do something here on behalf of the. The executive director, uh, Brother Ivan Thomas, and the crew here at Channel 28, we'll be, we are glad to uh, play a part in uh, giving this tribute uh, in the name of George. Robin Bishop, uh, 
how, how do you feel, feel about George? You're another one that uh, George would never let go. I tell you, I tell you, Brother George would call me all the time. Mm. Every time there'd be any type of service, Brother George would call on me. And I thank God for that because he could have chosen someone else to do it, but he would always call on me. And I thank God for that. I will miss Brother George. Every time he called me, Robin, Robin. Or then when I got initiated into the bishop, bishop, bishop. So I'm going to miss his phone calls. Um, I know that Brother Witcher was a man of God. He loved the Lord. He loved his church family. He loved everybody he came in contact with. Brother George was a phenomenal man of God. And I thank him for his wife because every time he called me, it could have been a thing where she said, why are you calling him all the time? But she was never, ever like that. She shared her husband with many folk mm. that he came encounter with. And I thank God. I'm sorry he's gone, but we all got to go yes. one day, yes. sooner or later. But I want to say to the family, continue to look up to the hills from whence cometh your help, and know that your help comes from the Lord that made heaven and earth. I met Brother George through the ambassadors. All right. That's how I came mm. in contact with Brother George, mm. was through the ambassadors. And every first Sunday in November, <laughs> yours truly was the MC. Yes. I was mouth almighty, mm. tongue ever nasty, mm. and I loved doing what I did <laughs> for the gospel ambassadors. All right. We always had a high time in the name of the Lord. So yeah. I thank Brother George for that. Mm. Amen. Because I say again, he could have gotten anybody else, but he always chose me. And I thank God. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss his phone calls. I've been calling his wife, Carolyn, and talking with her and checking on her. You need anything. I'm going this way. I'm going that way. You need me for anything. Call me. But she hasn't called me yet for anything. But I want her to know that I am available to the Witcher family. And I thank God for his children. I thank God for the daughter here, and I just thank God. I thank God even for this opportunity to be on this set and to say something about the man of God who loved the Lord totally. If yeah. you're just joining us, this is a special tribute to our good brother, Brother George Witcher. Uh, we are gonna go now to a song of inspiration by Jay Caldwell and the Gospel Ambassadors. As you know, there's nobody any closer to Jay Caldwell and the Gospel Ambassadors than George Witcher. We also, during this break, going to go to some fa family portraits of, of uh, George. George loved his family. Yes. You, you're going to yeah. see this. There's a mixture of different fa pictures there. Uh, so stay tuned. We shall return here on the Spiritual Revival Hour. Remember, this is the program of inspiration, consolation, and education. <laughs> when I
this. I like this verse here. David, the son of Jesse, was the little shepherd boy who would one day become a king. This is a special tribute to our good brother, Brother George Witcher. For those of you who've been around Wilmington, Delaware, and been watching uh, Channel 28, you are familiar with George. George is one of the pioneers of Channel 28, a young man who uh, was in BDO production and all of that. George, George would, anything that was productive, George would try. And uh, <laughs> I, I remember when George got his first camera, and, uh, he, he, he couldn't get to the workshop sometime. I used to have to go to his house and show him how to work the camera. He was determined. <laughs> but he, he was determined in whatever he do. Doing his sickness and his trials and tribulations, he was always dedicated. He was always sincere in whatever he do. So we are here today to pay tribute to our good brother, Brother George Witcher. 
I want to thank the crew, Brother Ivan Thomas, Executive Director and the crew here at Channel 28 for working with me to make sure that we give the proper respect to not only to the memory of George, but to his family, yeah. uh, his lovely wife, Carolyn. And uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I've met a lot of people in the, in the years that I've been around Wilmington, but I don't know of anybody that I could meet to such generosity as Carolyn Witcher. Oh, she's all the time the same. Regardless of the situation, she's always the same. Every time I talk with her, she is the same. So we're here today and uh, to pay our tribute to him. We have an another member of the community, a friend of George who's joining mm -hmm. us now, a young lady who all of you all know. Uh, she's no stranger to Channel 28. She's no stranger to this community. Uh, one of my students in the workshop, uh, she's one, like George, if you give her a job to do, she just takes it over and go ahead and do it. Ed Wheeler, we'll be happy to have you to join us today. Happy, happy to be here. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. I got your call yesterday. <laughs> and um, because uh, Canaan Baptist Church, where George was a member of, uh, the pastor uh, Bullock couldn't come and uh, Deacon Holding couldn't come and I got a call and say well you know what three strikes you're not out because three strikes I'll be there so I, I took on the task uh, of being here to represent Canaan Baptist Church uh, on one instance but on the other just to talk about the relationship I had with George when I joined your team and it was a very very uh, inspirational uh, introduction because I didn't understand that the dynamics of the different shows and he was one who well you go over here and you do this and you go over here and you do that and I was getting instructions from him as well uh, as you and so he was like your partner and he would always give you praise because if you don't know go ask twin if you don't know go ask twin if you don't know he was he, he wasn't um, uh, embarrassed enough to ask for help and so he was always inviting uh, people on the show because of the community and what they did and, and why they did it. And more importantly, I just think that George lived until he died. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. He gave everything he could possibly give yes. until yes. he died. Yes. He just kept on going yes. until yes. he died. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And I like to say died until he transitioned because we all know where he is, yes. you know, because of who he is and who he believed in and yes. who he knew. Yes. And so it's not so much as but George and where he is now, I really want to give tribute to Carolyn. Yes, yes. I really, I want to say to his wife, you mentioned that, you know, Carolyn was there and she was always the yes. same. And God knows when you are in love through, through thick and thin that there are some times when nobody sees you and nobody's around you and you have your moment with God yourself. And that that time that you get to to break down and to cry in the in the bosom, you know, of your God, and I can only envision him and Carolyn and laying beside each other, you know, and, and holy matrimony, yes. if you will, mm -hmm. and laying next to him and and encouraging him and he encouraging her. But a lot of people don't know what goes into being there all for your mate. And it is a task, it's a loving task, but it's also a challenging task. Very, very challenging. And no one can say, you need to do it, I can do it, I have to do it. No, Carolyn say, he's mine. I'm gonna do it. He belongs to me. I have him while I'm on this side of her. When he goes in transition, I know he got him. But right now, I am honored you know, and obligated and humbled to take care of the man who loved me so much. You know, so I just want to say to Carolyn, I know, I know your pain. I done been there two or three times myself. I done had a couple husbands, you know, good thing you only had one, you know. <laughs> but in transitioning and taking care of them, I know what that entails. So when all the lights are off, when everybody is gone and you're all alone, you know that you're not alone and you have your memories, and I want you to laugh and cry and you know, do what you need to do to say, you know what, I did a job and I did it well. And Renee, you, let's talk about the family and all that. We just got through viewing the, the pictures of George and 
Uh, you talked about the Giants. George was an Eagle fan, right? Mm, yes. You seen him in his Eagle outfit mm. there. On the, on that. Let's talk yes. about that a little bit. Mm. When, um, to much to my surprise, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, I had, um, mm. I saw this hat, Super Bowl hat. Mm. So I stopped by the house. So I was like, Daddy, you don't have no Super Bowl hat? He was like, nah. They're a little bit too pricey for me. I'm like, oh, okay, hold on. So I go outside to the car, just in case he already had one. Because if he had one, I was taking mine back. So, right outside, I was like, here you go. Mm. He hurried up and he looked and he was just, oh my God. He said, I ain't never taking this hat off. He took that other hat off, he put that hat on, and he wore that Super Bowl hat. Mm. Every day, everywhere. Mm. And then last year for Christmas, I let old dad, because my dad was in the hospital. I said, oh, daddy, you gonna love your Christmas gift. And he tried every which way to get it out of me. Carolyn, I know you know what Renee got me. What's she getting me? She's like, George, I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me, I don't know what she got, she ain't tell me. I just kept, mm, you're just gonna have to wait and see. You're gonna have to wait and see. So then, you know, we couldn't spend that time for Christmas, so I just I went on ahead, gave, gave him his own Christmas gift, and it was actually the Eagles Super Bowl ring. Mm. Okay. And okay. he wore, he, oh my God, the look on his face was priceless. Mm -hmm. I thought that he was excited when he got <coughs> that little stupid hat, <laughs> but when he got that ring, he was just like, Decide himself, mm. and then he wanted to wear that ring everywhere. I said, "Daddy, don't wear that ring everywhere." I was like, "Take that ring off." But he wanted to wear it, and yeah. he wore it proudly. Mm. You know, it made me stick to my stomach to buy it. But <laughs> I'm a Giants fan, <laughs> so but uh. I went, you know, before my dad, I went ahead, sucked it up, because I knew it would have made him happy. Mm. When Carolyn said, when Carolyn suggested that you come, she said, "Twin, uh, she she will satisfy you, uh, and uh, I'm I'm glad you came because I know the family and know all of you, and uh, it's, it, this is a, a, a moment that nobody can get used to. Mm. Nobody can used to get used to that, and uh, I'm just so happy that you were able to come to represent the family because Carolyn was." She was just concerned about somebody being here in her place. And uh, so thanks for coming down to be a part of this tribute. Uh, we're going to get back to you. Mom, Jay, we want to talk about <clears throat> the night at the Baby Grand. <clears throat> George always had a pleasure and had his way about introducing the gospel ambassador. <laughs> Yes, now this was indeed. a special night on that stage. Yes, he, yes. he wheeled out in the wheelchair to introduce you that <laughs> night. Uh, I, I, I think we're going we, we're going to show that during this program somewhere okay. during the program. Good, good, that good. that was a night. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, and, uh, yes, it that was. did joy so much good yeah. that night. I remember when he when he wheeled back behind the stage. He said, how did I do, man? I said, I. <laughs> he was always concerned mm. about doing something and doing it right. Yes, that, yes, that was, yes, that was yes, job. Now, yes. Let's talk about a little of the experience that you had. With well, you. I, I, that particular uh, night, you know, I, I, had, I had never heard George come on that way, or really, you know, introduce, make that kind of introduction. <laughs> I think he came on, are we in Chicago? <laughs> no. Are we in Philadelphia? No. <laughs> you know, where are we? <coughs> Delaware. <laughs> and he did such a splendid job. But you know, I told you the last time that I was here that when, how George became our road manager and how blessed we were yeah. to get him. Yeah. And uh, how he went to Chicago with us on our bus to be the road manager for the Jackson Southerners, yeah, yeah. you know. But then he came back as our road manager. Now don't tell, don't ask me what happened between <laughs> he and the Jackson Southerners when he got to Chicago. But I don't, I don't know. I never asked Hewitt. Hewitt is the lead singer for the Jackson Southerners, yeah. the manager. And he's, he, uh, I never asked Hewitt. But 
George came back as our road manager and we were blessed to have him and we had him as our road manager until his passing. Mm -hmm. That's how blessed we were to have George. And he was just one of a kind. Well, George, I heard, I heard Bishop uh, Matthew say a few months ago when anniversary time come, uh, she, George would always call her. Uh, he, he wouldn't wait for anniversary time. It, 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 I think when he started thinking about anniversary, he reminds <laughs> me of it. <laughs> so, so that was always something very dear to George Hart, your, your anniversary. Very something, dear. Something very dear. Very yeah. meant to yeah. him. Yeah. Always made big plans and always did big things. And like I said, we were honored to have him. It was a blessing to us to, to have to have come in contact with George Witcher, one of a kind, one of a kind. And I am also an Eagle fan. <laughs> so am I. Uh, okay. You're you. in the middle. Uh -huh. I just want to stick that in there. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? We're just blessed to have George Witcher. And really, you want to have a few closing remarks for this segment? I just want to say in, in honor of his family, you know, um, and, and she said it best, you know, how can you enjoy life and, and death at the same time? And the reality of it is we all practice living in the moment. Yes. You know, we cherish the moments that we have and yes. the memories, and we also make new memories and cherish them because they're by the grace of God, they go on. Yes. And so I've just learned to, and I said it out there, George lived until he died. Yes. And I plan to do the same thing. I'm going to live. <laughs> and so I just want you all to just, when you believe in yourself and you believe in others, it's all about, and I think she said it, unconditional love. George loved everyone unconditionally, so much so that he gave of himself more than he took. Yes. When we come back after another song of inspiration by the Gospel Ambassadors, uh, we're going to have uh, the daughter of uh, George Richards to close the, the last segment out on behalf of uh, uh, Carolyn and the rest mm -hmm. of the family. We, we thank you for joining us today. We, we just thought that uh, for the many years that George uh, made sacrifices to come and to do uh, the, uh, the program here. Uh, most of you know him. Uh, we knew, realized that a lot of you could not get to the going home service. So it was very important for he, us here at Channel 28 uh, to do something in memory of Brother George Witcher. Amen. I was delighted to be working with him. Uh, sometime in the workshop, I didn't know whether I was conducting the workshop or George was conducting the workshop, but, but nevertheless, he was always a pleasure because he never, he never hesitated from asking, uh, asking questions. Uh, it's just been a pleasure of knowing him, uh, friends, and when, when you're in a position like I was in with Ed Weeder and, and the rest of them, it, it was just a pledge of how he blend in. A lot of times he could not be there, but he was always concerned about how things was going. So on behalf of the executive director here, Brother Ivan Thomas and Dennis, we have a technician here at Channel 28 is beyond measures, this young man. He's from Philadelphia, from the Philadelphia area, but I'm telling you, I've been in this business too long. When you start talking about that time too long, this young man is dear to my heart. Now, we come down, we do production, I go home, I don't have to do anything else but wait on the program to come home Sunday morning and call and thank him. For many years, 2 o'clock in the morning, trying to get the program together. So we certainly want to thank Dennis for all you do. We shall come back with the final segment of this special this special program in memory of our good brother, Brother George Witcher.
staying with us we this is a special tribute to our good brother and friend who's going home to live with the Lord brother George with you uh, friends before we go to his daughter who is going to close this segment out for us I, I want to thank so many of you in the community as you know we've been back on 28th now for a few months and uh, we had a special request when we came back to 28 by the executive director uh, that I would play a part that I played for so many years. You know, Senior Citizens has been the love of my heart. We have a, a program going on called Recognition of the Senior's Birthday. Uh, we came back on and we started that. We started organizing the high rises and the senior centers where seniors are and all the seniors in the community. And we have over 37 uh, high rises and the senior centers. Uh, how that work is that uh, at three, three weeks before a senior's birthday, they, we will receive a picture of, this, of the senior, and we will put the picture on, and we will play happy birthday with the pictures on there uh, for that month that the senior uh, uh, was born in. We have that organized now. We should be starting now just getting the pictures in. That is something that we did for 37 years. And that might seem like a small thing to you, but for a senior citizen who are up in age and can't get to church anymore, or don't have the means to do things or get around like they used to, to see themselves on TV and somebody's singing happy birthday to 
means a lot. So we have been going around to the different high rises. I want to thank a young lady that I met when I come back. And she, she heads up a program for Medicare. And, uh, and uh, we, we, we met her, and she came on to do a presentation. And like always, I'm, I, people, people accuse me of just recruiting people. And she, she came on with me, and she started working with me now. So she's with us uh, today in the studio, but she didn't come on. And I want to thank Robin Morris, Amen. the young lady who's been working with me ever yes. since I've been on the air. She does all the leg work, and also she does her, her own uh, business. So uh, I want to thank her for... You know, I'm 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 not any younger. You know, no. I, I still somebody said I still look good. Mm. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. But I'm not <coughs> any younger. But to have somebody who take a liking and feel that it is important to do what you have been doing for so many years and to join you in it, I just want to say thanks to her. Mm. We have Renee. Renee, I want you in your own way on behalf of your father and your mother and your cousins and nieces, the entire family, uh, just say something to the community on behalf of the family. On behalf of my dad and the entire Witcher family, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Reverend Brown for hosting this to represent my dad. Amen. Words cannot express um, what my dad meant to us. We know that the community has lost a soldier. Mm -hmm. He was a soldier for the Lord mm -hmm. and he was always on the battlefield fighting. Mm -hmm. But he was more to that than us. He was a husband. Mm -hmm. He was a father. He was a pop-up. Mm -hmm. He was a great pop-up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and he was an Eagles fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I would just like to you know with all those, you know, the outpour of um, the phone calls, the text messages, you know, the well-wishers, I would like to take this time to thank them on behalf of my family. Amen. I would also like to take this time to thank my bishop and my church family, mm -hmm. the Resurrection Center, yes. under the leadership of Dr. S. Todd Townsend yes. and Pastor Cleo Valina Townsend, mm -hmm. and my church family, who showed a tremendous outpour. Mm -hmm. um, they were great. I thank the VA community. The VA community who also supported us, um, Senator Coons' office who has shown support, other representatives who have shown us support. My final word is that um, life is short. Tomorrow is not promised. Yes. Show your love, love on your family now. Mm -hmm. Give them flowers while they're here. The one thing that I can say that I was so glad that I did, it was doing my nephew Tassan's 21st birthday celebration this past um, summer at my sister's house, is that we had a vast majority of all the grandkids and great grandkids there. And I'm always taking pictures and I snatched up every single last one of them. I was like, get over there, go take a picture. Mm. I was like, come on daddy, take a picture. And I'm glad I had that opportunity mm -hmm. to at least to get those pictures, mm -hmm. that that picture with the majority <coughs> of his family. Mm -hmm. I took them with him and with Carolyn. Mm -hmm. um, we've lost a great one. Yes. We've yes. lost a great one. Yes. yes. And as we approach this holiday season, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But with God, we will get through this. Yes. Um, because it's through him that gives us strength. Yes. You know, it's my dad instilled in us, you know, God and his values. Yes, we do fall short, but so does everybody else. But at the end of the day, you know, get down on your knees and you pray. And I thank God for the time that we've all had with him. I thank God for the time that my dad got to spend with all of his grandkids and especially his little, the little ones, my youngest grandson. On the day that we had to spec, my dad, Pop was like, cause my dad was like, Poppy, Poppy. 
And Pop was like, yeah, yeah, Pop Pop sleeping? I'm like, yes, Pop Pop sleeping. He said, well, I'm going to here wake him up. I said, no, Pop, you can't wake Pop up. But Pop Pop is in heaven now. He's an angel watching yeah. over all of mm-hmm. us. So I have two angels. That's true. Um, I have both of my parents, my mom and my dad, my brothers, my nephews, and other family members. But again, I just want to thank the community. Um, my dad always, he once told me, he said, Renee, you become the most as popular as I am. Because they used to always ask me, are you related to George Witcher? Now they're asking him, are you related to Renee Witcher? Does he work <laughs> at the VA? And I'm like, yes. But Amen. thank you Amen. from the bottom of my heart. Amen. Um, there are just no other words to say. You know, we love my dad. My dad loved us. And he loved this community as well. Thank so you. I thank you. Robin, if you can do it in 30 seconds, we only give you a goodbye. Well, I'm going to say to the Witcher family, I love you. If you need me for anything, I'm available to you. And uh, may God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. And I'm going to miss Brother George Witcher. Okay. Brother J. Carwell, I, I want to personally thank you for the the welcome, song that you sung at the going home service mm-hmm. it was I appreciate it was in order thank it you, was sir. in order and, thank uh, you sir certainly we can thank those who turned out because people from over the community did turn out to yes. the going home service yes. And, yes. and i know what a what, what a miss it is to you oh i know what it is to you so oh. we we want to have your closing remarks well my clothes you know i asked you about sister burgess yes and yes. i i asked you that because she used to play a song for me, Come Ye Disconsolate. Yes, yes. And, and I say that because those of us who are left with this burden of losing George, yes. the one verse in that song says, Earth has no sorrow, no, no sorrow. sorrow. that heaven Can cannot heal. I'll leave you with that. Friends, this has been a special tribute to our good brother, Brother George Whittier. Uh, he meant so much to all of us. Mm-hmm all of us. And again, on behalf of the executive director, Brother Thomas, Ivan Thomas, and staff here at uh, Least Access Channel 28, we want to thank you for joining us for this special. We want to invite your prayers for the family, for George Richard's family, uh, his lovely wife, and all of them. Uh, we want you to join us every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, here for the Spiritual Revival Hour. This is your program, words and songs of inspiration, consolation, and education. So until next Sunday morning, I'm Benjamin Twin B. Brown. Be able to look back and see something that God has done for you. Didn't he do it? I said, didn't he do it? I've got it.